Good morning, guys. Good morning. What are you eating? Some Oh, yeah. Is it good? Yep. Nice. Hey, tomorrow's your birthday, huh? Yes. Yeah? How old are you going to be? Nine. Ten? Nine. <laughs> oh, okay. What do you want me to make you for breakfast for your birthday tomorrow? Some toast crunch. Again? Yes. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Adam Solowitz here. Welcome to episode three of the Quarantine Cookbook. And today is a special day. It is my son's ninth birthday, and he requested cinnamon toast crunch for breakfast. So I thought I'd change it up a little bit and make cinnamon toast crunch French toast for him. So before we get started, let's kind of go over the ingredients and what we'll be using uh, for today's episode. So first off, you're gonna need some bread. So I have some nice brioche bread here. And this recipe will actually make uh, anywhere between six to eight slices of uh, French toast. So we have uh, brioche. And then we also have the cinnamon toast crunch that I kind of pulverized. So we got about, about a cup, cup and a half here uh, to coat the French toast. Cream. Powdered sugar. Maple syrup, cinnamon, brown sugar, salt, eggs, vanilla, fresh berries. So we have strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, butter, unsalted butter, and a lemon for some lemon juice. The recipe will be in the description of the video uh, it's for everybody to follow along. So before we get going on making the French toast, we're going to make the, the dip or the, the custard to dip the French toast in. So we have a bowl here and calls, the recipe calls for four eggs. So just follow along with me. One egg. Let's see if I can do it one handed. Two eggs. While we're making the custard to dip the French toast, just a little history on French toast. Um, it's actually not even French, it originated in Rome, so a little uh, tidbit of information there. And the uh, French toast was actually created because it was a way to uh, reuse product. So when bread went stale, they would use the stale bread, kind of rehydrate it, and make the French toast. So some cool information there. Keep going, brown sugar, and I just put some vanilla in there as well. Cinnamon. A little bit of salt. I love sweet and salty, so I always add uh, salt to anything that I am making sweet. Just adds a little extra oomph mm, to it. And that is it. So we're gonna whisk this thoroughly. So, all right, I can smell it, the cinnamon, with the brown sugar and vanilla. It smells absolutely amazing. Good to go there. And we're also gonna make uh, the, the fruit mixture that's gonna go on top, or the berry mixture that's gonna go on top. So I love to use fresh blueberries and blackberries. So here we have some blackberries, blueberries, Fresh raspberries, strawberries that I quartered, and I like to toss my berry mixture in some lemon juice just to add a little bit of acidity to it. Just makes those flavors pop. So I did this a little bit ahead of time with the berries just to let the, the lemon juice sink in and soak up all that flavor. And that is it. So now, let's get to dipping this French toast. So liquid crunch on the skillet to cook. Let's do this.
All right, everybody, it was that simple. Cinnamon Toast Crunch French Toast. Thank you for watching episode three of the Quarantine Cookbook. Remember that the recipe is gonna be in the description of the video. And a very happy birthday to my son. And eat well. Happy birthday, dear Bubba. Gavin, happy birthday to you. What do you like, fault today? I'm not. Okay. Blow it out. Harder. There it is. Hey. You gonna try it? Try it. Oh, gonna... Yep, take a big bite then. There it is. Is it good? Not with that hand.